Hey guys, well, welcome to episode number 471. Today is Monday, so it's update Monday, and I got a lot of the components in that I need to set up my solar system for outdoors, aquaponics. There's some good news, there's some bad news, and uh, I wanted to quickly walk through it. I'm so excited to get this stuff in that I decided to shoot a video on it today, and then I'll show you assembling all of this stuff uh, on Wednesday for Wednesday's video. But uh, let's start with the good, because that's always a good place to start, and that is the solar panel itself. Now, this is a Renology 100 watt solar panel, 12 volt. The optimum operating range is 19 volts and five amps, and that's plenty big enough to power just one basically pond pump for outdoor aquaponics use. This thing is awesome. Um, it's aluminum construction, and then I forget what it's called, monocrystalline solar panel. It's whatever everyone else is using. The amazing thing is the price on these things have dropped significantly, and this is a really nice brand. So I'm pretty excited to work with this. Uh, I do need to come up with some sort of construction to uh, mount this to so that I can keep it outdoors. Um, but here it is, 100 watt solar panel. It's cheaper than you might think. I'll leave a, a link down below in the description if you wanna go pick one up on Amazon. It shipped in the mail just fine. It showed up in perfect condition and I'm super happy with it so far. Obviously, I'll be a lot happier once it's actually installed and working. All right, another piece of good news is this solar controller. And it's actually mounted. I mounted it to the top of this battery cover. Um, I got a basically a marine battery, like a deep cycle battery for boats and stuff. And that battery is 12 volt, 35 amp hour, which means um, if I'm running something, that is, let's say, one amp, then a 35 amp hour battery can run that one amp device for 35 hours. Um, so in my case, and here's the bad news, this little pump is basically a one amp DC pump. <laughs> and has this ever happened to anyone else? Like when you go on Amazon and you're looking at things, and you're trying to judge like how large things are, like what the scale is. And even if they give you like the dimensions, you don't really pay attention to it. And so you get something that you think is gonna be a lot bigger than it actually is. Well, that's what happened here. Um, this thing, I believe it said on the listing, yeah, it was uh, like a hundred and um, 132 gallons per hour for this little pump. And it's a DC pump, so it's gonna plug directly into the DC battery. And uh, supposedly this thing can lift water uh, up to 16 feet, and it can pump up to 132 gallons per hour, which technically should work fine. Um, for my application here, all I'm doing is pumping, you know, from a 55 gallon barrel up to the top to the grow bed, but I'm a little skeptical that this thing is going to be able to, to pump water up the three feet plus that I need it to go. I mean, I think even if it's able to do it, it might just be a little trickle. But I don't know. I mean, DC is uh, direct current, so maybe it's got a little bit more power behind it than uh, you'd otherwise think. So um, we'll give it a try and see if it works. But uh, basically, this is how the whole thing goes together. And again, I'll show you the build on Wednesday. Um, this is a solar controller. It's, it's basically the brain of the entire operation. And how it works is you take the solar panel and you connect the positive and the negative to the solar controller. So that's our solar panel. And then you take another positive and negative and you connect it to the battery. And this is the battery case. So the battery will be down below the solar controller. And then you take a third set of wires and you connect it to your light bulb or your pump or whatever else you're trying to power. And essentially what it does is it regulates the power. So as we're creating electricity 
from our solar panel on a nice sunny day, it's charging the battery. And when there's not enough coming from the solar panel itself, let's say it's nighttime, but the pump is still on, it will draw from the battery. And then if the battery is full, it shuts off the, the connection to the solar so that you're not overcharging the battery. It does all of the balancing and tweaking and adjusting that you would expect <clears throat> in order to make a system like this run. So I was super excited to find that. Um, you know, it just makes life easy. All you need to do is basically plug in your six wires and you're done. So I was super excited to pick this up. I was super excited to get the solar panel. I'm a little skeptical of this little pump. So I've ordered a second pump and I might actually go on and order a third pump. Like I might just go directly to an aquaponics store and see what they have for sale because uh, you know I'm, I'm afraid of getting like this this uh, this kind of surprise in the mail again but uh, we'll see how it does I don't know we'll see and if it works you'll see it if it doesn't work you'll probably see it anyways and uh, we'll go from there but anyways this is what I got in the mail today pretty excited to plug this all in it's pretty much plug and play all I need to do is uh, get all of the other fittings and uh, connect it all up I gotta make a dry box to make sure my battery stays dry and uh, we'll give this pump a shot and we'll see if it does any good. Uh, it is going to be rainy here for the next few days and cloudy so I don't know if I will have this actually pumping water on Wednesday but at least it will be built out and uh, we'll get to see uh, if it works or not. So anyways guys that's the project that's what I'm doing down here. I know spring and summer is here and a lot of people leave the aquarium hobby um, or at least they slow down in terms of you know the fish that they're buying or the tanks that they're setting up but here's an alternative go outside where it's nice out and uh, start working on projects outside anyways that's what I'm doing hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later